Hi, in this video, we're going to have a high level overview of the Net Foundry platform architecture. The Net Foundry platform comprises of two key components the Net Foundry Management Orchestration Platform and ZT. Net Foundry Management and Orchestration Platform is the interface that lets you talk to ZT. You have the option of interfacing either through the web console or via APIs. All that you can perform via the Net Foundry web console can be achieved via the Net Foundry APIs that MOP offers. The management orchestration platform MOP is a combination of CACD plugins, automation tools, and templates that allow you to provision Net Foundry network and various components. The ZT platform comprises of ZT Fabric and ZT Edge. ZT Fabric is built with public hosted edge routers that create a mesh network for your overlay data path. ZT Edge comprises of the ZT Edge controller, the router, and the enrollment servers. ZT Edge controller is the heart of the ZT network where all control plane decisions are made and policies are stored. ZT Edge router allows you to connect to any private or public cloud. And the ZT endpoints allow you to embed NetFoundry Zero Trust networking into mobile apps, into devices, and IoT or edge gateways. The ZT enrollment service is an integral part of the NetFoundry security model that takes care of Zero Trust authentication and authorization. The components of the NetFoundry platform can be classified into NetFoundry hosted components and customer hosted components. The NetFoundry fabric, which is built of the NetFoundry hosted edge routers and the NetFoundry controller form the NetFoundry hosted components. On the other side, the edge routers, which are deployed on private and public cloud data centers, the endpoints, which are deployed on devices and mobile apps and edge environments form the NetFoundry customer hosted components. Getting into the NetFoundry solution architecture this is required for building any NetFoundry solution. The control or the API talks to the NetFoundry network controller, which is the heart of the NetFoundry network. And then you have the NetFoundry fabric. The NetFoundry fabric is built with NetFoundry public edge routers. There are two options you have to build the NetFoundry fabric. You could use the NetFoundry hosted edge routers or you could host your own edge routers with link listeners. Note that for the function of the NetFoundry fabric, a minimum of one public hosted edge router is required and minimum of two public hosted edge routers are suggested for the purpose of resiliency. And then you have the NetFoundry edge components or the customer hosted components. In this example, you could see that the NetFoundry customer edge routers being deployed in private cloud and various public clouds. And then you have the NetFoundry endpoints, which can be deployed as we saw in the earlier slide on devices, on mobile applications, or on IoT and edge gateways. Thanks for watching this video.